So what was supposed to be a peaceful day of just working in the morning and going to the beach in the afternoon ended up being a lot more dramatic than we planned. <laughs> I'm going to die in Thailand! When you travel the world for a year, you see and experience so much. And we want to share our daily travels with you. Unfortunately, a hard drive failure means we have to tell the middle a little bit differently. So, welcome to Storytime with the Happy Hoppies in this edition of The Lost Episodes. So after getting some good work done in the morning, we took a little break, started walking down to the beach, stopped and grabbed a coconut along the way. We wanted to have that true island experience. Went down, down to the beach, we're sipping on the coconut, just chilling, laying down, and then pretty soon, Lisa's like, I gotta pee. Just walk back to the hotel or find a little place where you can use restroom nearby. I don't wanna walk back to the hotel. I mean, it's like a 10 minute walk, so not too far, but that's 20 minutes round trip. We just got there. I'm just gonna go in the ocean and go pee. But there's other places near the beach too where she probably could have found a, a bathroom to be able to use. And I'm like, no, don't pee in the ocean. There's other people trying to swim here. That's gross. <laughs> so what do you think? Is pee in the ocean gross or okay? Have you guys done it before? We're curious to know. It's totally okay. Okay. It's gross. But, okay, so I had already taken my flip flops off and I, started to walk down to the beach. And we had talked about it in our previous video that there were sea urchins all over Anong Beach there in Krabi. And I saw them as I was about walking in and I was like, uh, you know what, maybe I should go back and get my flip flops. But I was like, nah, it'll be fine. As I was walking in, I was looking for them. But you have to get out deep enough. It doesn't look obvious that you're peeing. So at that point then I really couldn't see my feet. And then on the way back in, it was a crunch on one foot, step, step on another. So instantly both feet have sea urchins in them, or sea urchin spikes. They are poisonous, but the poison and the pain hadn't really reached me yet. It's not deadly. Yeah. So I am coming out of the water and I was like, Peter, Peter, get the camera, get the camera, this will be good. So he gets the GoPro and he starts filming me and then the pain hits and I'm like full on like tears and I'm like get that camera out of my face! <laughs> it hurt. It really, really hurt. It was at least 30 little spikes um, between both feet. And so she sat down and I'm trying to pull the big spikes out that I can grab with my fingers and there's some that are like smaller and broken off and we need tweezers for. But I'm trying to pull what I can to get that out of her skin ASAP and she's like, stop it, don't use your fingers. I'm like, what do you want me to do? Well, here's the thing, is because he had sand on his fingers and I didn't want to get dirt in an open wound. It wasn't open yet until you pull it out. Exactly, there's sand right there. And also, I didn't want um, him to pull out some of it, but then some of it still be left in. We just hadn't done our research. We didn't know like She's how not poisonous very trusting. they were. Just, yeah, come on. So at first I thought- Guys, okay. pull it out, wash it out, good. No, honey, you didn't step on it, okay? So I wasn't sure what to do. I thought, okay, you know, I have tweezers back in my bag, maybe because I can't walk on these things right now, otherwise they'll be impacted into my feet. And so if Peter went and got my tweezers and then I sat there and like tweezed them out, but it, the pain was starting to hurt so bad. And I was like, Peter, we just need to get back to the room ASAP so I can wash my feet, first of all, get the sand off my feet, and then be able to know exactly where these are to tweeze out. So I started to try and walk and just use the outside of my feet because they were really my just big toes. Um, but that was really hard to do and just looks pretty awkward. And then I was like, oh my goodness, Peter, this hurts way too much. Can you please carry me? So he held me like this and carried me and we were getting some pretty strange looks like, what's wrong with her? And I was like, eh. She has a very low. Hey, it was it was bad. He she has me. she has a very low pain tolerance. Don't even. It was it was terrible. If you've ever stepped on a sea urchin, please comment below the extreme amount of pain. And it was thirty spikes in both feet. 
they are poison and it was starting to really, really hurt. Anyway, so <laughs> I carry her for a little while like this and then had been working out so I got fatigued eventually and had to throw on her back, walk back the rest of the way. Anyway, we got back to the hotel, she sprayed it down a little bit in the shower. It hurt so bad. Started pulling the rest of the spikes out, except for a few that were like embedded and you couldn't grab a hold of anything. Right, and so there were some I just, I really couldn't get to. We had travel medical insurance, and so we weren't sure like if I should go and like see a doctor, like are these okay in me? So I didn't want to walk anywhere, so I just stayed in the hotel and Peter went out and explored to get some answers. So I took pictures of her feet so I could show somebody at a clinic what her feet looked like, and then I had pictures of the urchin so they could see what that looked like and put two together and tell us what to do, whether to be concerned, right. whether she need to come in or whatever. So then I walked down, there was a clinic just a couple blocks down the street. So I went down the street, walked in, showed them the pictures and I'm like, yeah, it's no problem. You can, <laughs> they said you could come in and you know, the doctor could pull it out for like 45 bucks or just rub some betadine on it. And it was like seven bucks for the betadine or whatever it was. So she gave me the bottle of betadine. She's like, that's fine. You don't really have to worry about if you can't get any, some of those out, it's fine. It's because your body will break them down anyways. And they're, they're not gonna hurt you. You're not gonna die from anything. Everything's okay. But yeah, you can just push on it to get them all out. And I was like, uh, she doesn't like me doing that. I started doing that, so. But they're like, yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. They won't, they won't kill you. So you can leave them if you want. If you can get them out, get them out. If you can't, don't worry about it. When he came back, not only did he bring me the betadine, but he also brought me some cookies, which was super nice. <laughs> so I'd gone across the street to a grocery store and just picked up a little, little treat for her. Because while he was gone, I was just laying in bed because I wasn't walking on it because it really, really hurt. So it was hard kind of sleeping that night. Um, the next morning, uh, we actually, that morning we did a Facebook Live video. We had already had it set up, so we still went through with that. And then, I, it wasn't too bad that morning, but then we had to actually get out of the hotel we were in because um, it was full, and we knew that we had kind of already had our beach experience, and so then we were just gonna go into Main Town Krabby to get a couple days of work done. And so um, we went into Krabby Town, and we took like a open air, um, truck taxi thing um, and went to our hotel there in Krabby Town, but we did have to do quite a bit of walking, um, like to the, the, the truck ride and then once the truck dropped us off, like in the main town area to then to our hotel. So with like 25 pounds on my back and then my sneakers that I had to put on because I wasn't going to walk in flip flops that far, they were just like being impacted into me so much that like the remaining um, spikes were really hurting. So I googled it and found a couple videos or articles that talked about how you can soak your feet in a bucket of hot water and that will help those little spines that are stuck in your feet come out. So yeah. we asked the hotel if they had a bucket we could use and they said yeah sure they gave us a five gallon pail and then we boiled a bunch of water in the little tea kettle in the room. I tell you the, what Having a hot tea kettle comes in handy so much when you're traveling. Not only can you have noodles in it, hard boiled eggs, you know, use it for tea, use it for instant coffee, but also when you get step on a sea urchin, you can soak your feet in it. So I kept like, I you know, I didn't just do boiling water because that'd be too much for my feet in. But I got some water out of the shower. You did? So then Peter, so then, so then Peter, who was helping me out so much, got water out of the shower and then um, I would have the hot tea kettle with me and just um, pour it as needed and then when it needs to be reboiled, um, Peter would reboil some more water and it was great. So for three hours, three straight hours, I sat on the edge of the bed watching a movie and soaking my feet. So it was actually a quite relaxing day. We were supposed to get work done that day, but I got so work done. <laughs> he got work done, <laughs> and in the midst of uh, heating up my water, um, and so it was so nice. Um, after that, my feet felt so much better. After soaking him for a while, she pulled her feet out and just started pushing them a little bit, and they almost like popped right out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it definitely works. It really did. The trouble though with researching things online is then he was finding out like 
oh my goodness, like yeah, this is poison and it can actually like go up into your heart, you can have trouble breathing, and just before he actually had found out about that, my like arm has started to like hurt more than just like carrying a backpack. Like it felt like it was going like limp. And so, I don't know, I was like freaking out like, I'm going to die in Thailand! <laughs> I didn't tell her all these details until later because uh, I saw this stuff earlier on like the day before whenever yeah. I was first looking it up. But I'm like, yeah, that's very rare. And that's if you get a ton of like, she didn't have that many and like, it was if there's no, spikes. there's no need to get her freaked out and get her thinking about something negative until we start experiencing something. So I'm like, eh, we'll cross that line if we come to it. Yeah, but after soaking, that suit, that really, really helped. Um, and then the next day, we actually go out and explore Krabby Town when my feet feel much better. <laughs> so join us for that in the next video. See ya. It's gross. Whatever. I feel like I need a burp. Mm, I that out. <laughs> okay. I feel better. Okay. So then he gave me a piggyback ride for a little bit, which I was nice. I think I held you like this first and then put you on my back. Because the being on my back makes more sense than holding you like this. I get tired holding you like this. You held me like that first?